Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to configure your SAM Broadcaster Pro with your hosting with the Streaming Center um, Cloud Hosting account. So it's really simple, really simple. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get this done. So if you have SAM Broadcaster Pro, you want to go ahead and open it up. And typically you want to get to wherever, whatever screen has your encoders. So sometimes on your home page, sometimes it's on a different page. All right. You want to go into your encoders, all right? First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click the plus sign because you want to add a new encoder. The encoder you want to use is going to be the MP3 Lame, L-A-M-E, encoder, all right? Once you click on that, click OK. It's going to give you this box right here. You want to put the details in. You want this to match whatever you're hosting. Uh, some, of, some of you guys have a 128. Um, some people have 256, some people have 320. So you want to just basically match up whatever your hosting is. Um, you can basically go lower than what your maximum bit rate is, but you can't go higher. So in this case, we're going to do 128. Um, this, you can keep it on stereo. You know, I like joint stereo because it gets a really good sound. And then sample rate, keep it on auto, or if you know that you are sampling at a certain rate, you can do that. I'm going to put mine on 44 or 100. All right? Now, if you want your encoder to automatically start when you actually are broadcasting, as soon as you open up uh, Sam Broadcast, you click on this box. Um, if you want your encoder to automatically reconnect if you lose like internet or something, and it disconnects you from the system or disconnects you from your streaming server, check that box and select how many seconds you want it to you know, wait before it starts doing this. And what will happen is if you're broadcasting live and you lose signal, um, it'll automatically try to reconnect. Uh, for you. All right. Uh, if you don't want your SAM broadcast to automatically start your live broadcast as soon as you connect, keep that box unchecked. Typically, keep that box unchecked. It will work better for you. All right. Next thing you want to do is put in your server details. You want to make sure you're on Shoutcast. Now, your server is set up for version 1 and version 2. Uh, the best way to use this is use version 1. All right. Uh, version 1 is going to give you, it's going to actually for your server IP address server port and password all right so i'm gonna show you how to get that log into your radio hosting account and you want to navigate over to your quick links all right quick links is going to give you the information you need to actually be able to um, put in there to broadcast live it's going to tell you your bit rate it's going to tell you your port number all that stuff um tell you your format now I'm going to tell you where I go to get um, this information. Typically, um, your port number you want to use is telling you which port number you use, right? It says one is saying it's 8006. This one says 8008. 8, so typically, if this port number doesn't work when you actually do it, use this port number, all right? Because, all right? So for this um, train, I'm going to use the main port number, 8008, all right? IP address is here. So let's go ahead and do our IP address first. I'm going to copy the IP address. I'm going to take it on over to my SAM Broadcaster Pro. Now right here where it says local host, I'm going to replace that with the IP address I just copied. Now, I'm going to go here and get my port number. Port number is 8008. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And now I'm going to put that right here. All right, I didn't, did not take it. Let's do it. Let's do it like this. It was 8008. All right. And then the password. You want to use the password you use when you log in. All right. So let's go here. Um, you want to use the password you use when you log in. So when you go into your settings, the password that is this password, that's what you want to use. All right. That's the password you want to use when you log in. All right. So let's see. Let's see what this password is. Use that password when you log in. And then... Now we get over here, you want to put the name of your station in. Whatever your name is, you put right here. This is what's going to show up when it broadcasts live. Then select your genre, and if you have a website, attach the website to it.
and if you don't have a website you can just put in what I just put in the streaming center once you do that this last one if you want to record every time you go live click that button if you don't want it to record every time you go live don't select that button click OK all right that is all you need to do to set up your encoder once you do that you can go ahead and follow the procedure to actually stop in the uh, auto DJ on the uh, on this server follow that tutorial for that and then go ahead and start your Sam broadcaster and you will be broadcasting live all right guys so that's how you would basically set up your Sam broadcaster pro to broadcast live all right guys thanks for watching